Also, a couple other strategies I want to highlight is exercising too close to bed. So exercise, it's a stress. It does activate the sympathetic nervous system because that's how you get blood flow to the arms and legs and to the extremities. And then, of course, cortisol is going to mobilize glucose and the muscles and such. And so that is part of the stress response. So you got to make sure the more your parasympathetics are stressed, right, your rest, digest part of the nervous system, the less strenuous, the less sympathetic stimulating exercise you should be doing. And of course, you need to allow more buffer time to transition back into the parasympathetics at bedtime. So if you're working out like at six or seven o'clock, and then you're trying to wind down at nine or 10 asleep by 11, that may not be enough time. So the more stressed you are, you want to look at doing exercise first thing in the morning. And you always want to answer my three questions appropriately. All right. You want to answer positively to these three things. Number one is, do I feel better after the workout than when I started? Number two is, can I emotionally repeat the workout? Do you feel so depleted afterwards where you just, you couldn't emotionally do it? Like you may like have that high where you're like, oh, I feel good. And then like you catch your breath like 10 minutes and you're like, oh, I thank God that's done. You, you want to feel that sense of like, no, I could do that again. Like I could do it again. You want to feel that kind of a, a sense of, of accomplishment. And then number three is you want to feel not excessively sore or beaten up afterwards. So that next morning you wake up, you know, barring the fact that you slept good and all that's okay. You didn't drink alcohol. You want to feel not excessively sore with the exception. If you throw in maybe a new exercise you haven't done in a while, maybe some lunges or a deadlift outside of something that's a full body movement, you shouldn't feel overly beaten up. Yep. Good points. Good points. And it's possible you could use some of those herbs to try to calm down that response, right? If your work schedule just doesn't allow it and you had to do a 6, 7 p.m. workout, like you said, maybe it's not too intense, so you still could settle down. But maybe you you do take a dose of some type of an adrenal cocktail after the after the workout. I think that could be really smart. And then let's go into a couple other mechanisms. Just to highlight one thing before we move yeah. on topic. So if that's the case, if that's the only window, there's three major levers with exercise, frequency, intensity, duration. So frequency is how often you work out. Is it every day? Are you taking a day off in between Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday kind of thing? And then of course, um, that's frequency. Intensity is how hard are you working out as well as the rest in between. So like a compound lift, like a, um, a deadlift or a front squat, right? Isn't it be a lot harder than like a bicep curl or a military press, right? The more you activate, the more joints you activate, the harder it is. So you could shift away from multi-joint stuff or you do multi-joint stuff with less weight, okay, and provide more rest time between sets. And then um, duration, of course, is going to be how long the workout is, right? Instead of a 45-minute workout, you go to a 30 or a 20. So you just keep on frequency, adjust the frequency, how many days, intensity, kind of workout lifts you're doing, the weight as well as the rest time. And then the duration is the overall length of the workout, cutting that down. So you can move the lever on those, and I always recommend the easiest first thing is allowing a day off in between to recover um, and then keeping the workout shorter, right? Charles Polican did research on this, finding that the cortisol response starts to significantly elevate once you go longer than 45 minutes. So keeping the workout under 45 minutes, and if you're really stressed, probably 20 to 30, and just rely on more circuit type of workouts to get the exercise done. So do three movements in a row, upper, lower, upper, or front, back, front, however you want to pair it. That way you can get a lot more volume and, and exercise accomplished in a shorter amount of time. Yep, that's good advice.